Welcome to a new to Big Extra Gaming and Esports Hot Topics, Hot Tweets, and Spicy as me as I'm Marissa Roberto. And I am Brody Moore, and this is how the show's gonna work. We're here to present all the goodies we've gathered in which we will discuss and likely argue. But luckily for all of us, there is a mute button that we can use once to mute the other. Mm-hmm, yeah, shout out to chat, because we like it when you call us out when we're wrong and praise us, obviously, when we're spitting truth. Duh. So let's get to it, it's time for me to kick Brody's butt in our first debate, which okay. is about rumored subscriber-only streams on Twitch. Twitter account Streamer News reported that a stream on Twitch was testing a subscriber-only stream. While there was some confusion over whether this feature would be announced soon, it turns out that sub-only streams have existed in Twitch for years. It's just no one really used it except for the rare esports tournament. But the feature is still present and it raises an important question. Brody, do you think that subscriber-only streams are a good thing for Twitch? Okay, so this is fun because I have... No um, subscribers. I, uh, what? You have no subscribers. What? No, wow! I have a couple, okay? I have a few people that care about me, unlike you. What? Oh, that's true. I use my Twitch Prime for this show now. <laughs> yeah, you, you. <laughs> but whatever. I'll, I'll accept that one. Anyways, I actually, as a, a partnered channel... That what? subscribers didn't even realize that was a feature. Yeah, that's So fair. if that was there, this is news to me. Yeah. Um, but actually, yes, this sounds super useful. Now, when you read it, I'm like, oh, I could use that for so many things because you always want to give back to the subscribers. They're, yes. Like it's they're they're supporting you. Um, and for me, especially, like I don't get to stream a lot doing all these events. Mm -hmm. So it's like I still have people that are supporting me though, and I want to give back to that. Mm -hmm. I used to do a movie night where we'd watch all watch a movie together. Aww. But even that's hard with the limited amount of time, right? So if I can dedicate, you know, one of my streams that I'm doing to streamers or do something special, um, you know, just even do like a, an hour long one for them. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can clip something in that and be like, yo, look what uh, look what you're missing out on because you're not a subscriber. You might get more subscribers. This actually seems like a super useful tool if utilized properly, if actually. If I sub to you, will you promise that you'll do a subscriber only laundry stream? One hundo P, I promise you that I will deliver you on the most boring stream <laughs> you've ever seen in your life. I see Brody doing laundry. I do like this, of course, for the community, for the Twitch community. If it's a toggle, if you can turn it on whenever you feel like it, yeah. it, it can't be a dedicated subscriber. Like that's what it subscriber. is. Yeah, it can't be a dedicated subscriber only all the time. It should be, yes, just like in Patreon, how there's different subs, different tiers of subscribers that you give certain things to. If you're paying a certain amount of money, you're giving them five bucks a month, and you've been a loyal subscriber, yeah. for sure, then they should have specific subscriber only streams. Absolutely, you're right. Subscribers should absolutely yeah. be rewarded. It's we should do something for our for our subscribers. Yeah, I mean, it'd be up to the, to, to the streamer then to make sure that people are, or Twitch even, to start promoting, yeah. like, hey, when you sub to people, they may have, you know, yeah. um, streams that are just for you guys. So, as long as it's made clear to them, yeah. I think uh, that's super useful. Yeah. I, I, I'll do this. You sub to me and we get a laundry stream. Do laundry, yeah. How about that? Alright, we've been talking about Apex Legends Esports for a while now, mm. but it's finally official. Face It will host the first official Apex tournament that is licensed by Respawn and EA. Called the Face It Pro Series Apex Legends, the tournament will see 16 North American teams compete for a 50,000 US dollar prize pool. The, ru the rules sorry, have yet to be announced, but it will be played over eight events. Hmm. Now Marissa, off the top, the first one we've seen that's officially partnered now with EA and Respawn. Yeah. Is this enough? Should it be bigger? Uh, more prize pool? Is this the perfect no. kind of starting point? What do you think? Oh no, absolutely. 50k is a lot of kashish, man. Especially for a freemium mm -hmm. game that we just all started playing one afternoon when mm -hmm. it launched. Uh, no, I think it's amazing. 50k over eight tournaments. The span is like, yeah, absolutely. It takes a it takes a good amount of time for everybody to figure out their teams, everybody to figure out their play style, to figure mm -hmm. out the meta of the actual esport itself, and just their competitors at large. I I think it's fantastic as a starting point. Okay. Okay, as a starting point, I don't know. I still, you know, I'm kind. I was on that side, and then I started thinking about it. What? I don't know. I mean, consider yeah. that each of these teams. So there, are, that's a lot of teams, and each of the teams are going to have three players on it. Yeah. Right. That's splitting that money, and if that money split across all these events, that's not livable. It's and only going to split that money a, across the for top a, eight teams. A, yeah, but that's still not a lot. That's not livable. That is not something that you can now dedicate your career to. This this is just going to end up being streamers that play other games, maybe coming back. You know, Shroud might come back for a bit, but they yeah. might leave again. This, Respawn is is are losing people to other games now. Okay? Mm. Like it's you still have your de and Apex is still good. You have your dedicated audience that's yeah. still there, but you're you are bleeding people to other games now because they haven't done a 
lot. They, they were caught off by guard by the surprise. You need to do something big with your eSport to say, hey, we're actually serious about this. We want people playing this. And 50K just doesn't show that they're serious. Yeah, You've got EA money behind you. You can put a little more money into yeah, that. Yeah, but we've seen this before with Battle Royales. Like, this has already happened before with Epic. Epic has been trashed numerous times because of the way they run their eSports, even though the prize pools are astronomical. Prize pool does not dictate it, but 50,000 is, is like, on the, like, it's there's a, there's a, a range you have to hit. 50,000 is not, I don't think, enough to say that we're oh serious about this. Brody, this is the first time this has ever happened. 50K is actually an amazing jumping off point. I, I think it has to be that. Like, maybe these players will get org sponsoring them, and maybe they'll have their way paid for whatever tournament they end, end up going to in the future. <sighs> this is how esports start. This is how it has to be very grassroots. It has to be, like, you pay your own way, because that's just the way this world works. Uh, it's, it's funny that I'm even arguing that 50K is low. I mean, like, that, that, that is, like, monumental back in the day. But, like, yeah. you look at you look at the esports now, though, again, it's like that that isn't a serious like if you're playing an FGC game like you got one on one and the prize is split for one person mm. that's winning 50k is a lot more oh reasonable gosh, okay. Shh, quiet now Mortal Kombat creator Ed Boon has kickstarted a new debate in the FGC thanks to his tweet about combo breaker Boon said that he would like to see losers brackets renamed to lower brackets which is a more positive term for it Fighting games have long referred to the bottom bracket as losers. Through esports like CSGO and Dota have always used the term lower. So some say that changing it would affect nothing, while others say that Boone is merely being pedantic. And I think Brody might be still be muted, so I'm just gonna uh, express my opinion. Oh, he's he's actually back. Oh, shoot. Good. You Thanks. can't stop these opinions, baby. What? Yo, okay. Who's being pedantic? Ed You're Boone. worried. No, Ed Boone is not being pedantic. The people complaining he's being pedantic are being pedantic. It's a word. Who cares if it changes? Why are you getting upset that they want to change it from losers well, to lowers? Well, I think that's the, the definition of pedantic, like just making like, a problem over nothing. That's like what I'm saying. They're calling him pedantic. Yeah. He's not. Well, I think it's better. I don't think... No, this is better you, to change it. I don't know if you know what pedantic means. Yes, I do. It means making a big deal over nothing. And the people in so the Ed, FGC... So then Ed Boon is no, pedantic. No, 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 no. Because he makes a valid point. The people complaining about him are making a big deal over nothing. Why not let him change it? Let him say, hey, yeah, we should change this. What's the problem with that? Why are people getting upset that he wants that changed? Is uh, it, that's being pedantic. Yes, because, because to argue their side of it, it has been this way from time. The FGC is very grassroots. So? It continues to be grassroots. They want to keep it that way. It's just something that they hold true. And that's this is, is why your eSport is going to die. It, it, they're, so against, they're so against change yes, and like making true. it big. Like I come from grassroots games. Rocket League started grassroots. I came from Smash Brothers, which is pure grassroots. Mm. I love grassroots, but there is a mix you have to hit. And if change Changing the loser's bracket to lower bracket is something you do, then do it. Rocket League, we all started with loser's brackets yeah. because a lot of us came from those other games. Now we call them the lower brackets. It's just a nicer thing to do. Who cares? It's one word. FTC, give it up. It's a word. You, if you can stay grassroots by changing the loser's bracket to lower bracket. Who gives a crap? And yeah, it makes the people in the lower bracket but feel a little better. isn't there something to be said about the word losers? Like, it makes it more dramatic. It makes you it haven't more lost salty. Yet. No, but you you're have still lost in the one, tournament. But you lost one. You can win. So you, you're a loser at that point because you're no, not you're the winner in the, in the lower winner's bracket. Bra Jeez, you're in the lower bracket. You did not lose out of the tournament. Therefore, you are not a loser. You have to lose to lose. If you're still in the tournament, you have not lost. You can win the tournament through the lower bracket, which means you did not lose. And Eagle Eyed's Internet Sleuth has uncovered signs that Ubisoft may be launching its own subscription service. An image was briefly displayed on the Ubisoft store that advertised a Ubisoft Pass. This is speculated to be a subscription similar to EA Access and Xbox Game Pass that would offer access to most of Ubisoft's titles for a monthly fee. Now, Marissa, my wallet is hurting. Um, and if this turns out to be true, I'm starting to think that maybe we have too many subscription services. Uh, yeah, definitely. For sure. <laughs> yeah. It's becoming, yeah, my uh, email inbox is becoming just inundated with, oh, your subscription <laughs> is up, time to renew. Uh, and it just does it automatically, and then I'm just wondering why I have no money in my accounts. Uh, I don't like this because I feel like it, Ubisoft is a publisher, okay? So uh, alongside EA, I don't like the same deal. I don't like these subscription services for them okay. because if we're already paying subscription services on the big platforms, if we're paying for it on Sony, if we're paying for it on Microsoft,
off, then I want those games to become available to me on those devices. I feel like th that money can be split and given mm. to the developers. If I'm paying a subscription service to Microsoft, I want that money that I'm giving Microsoft mm. to go then a little bit to the publisher or, or to the game developers that made the game that I'm enjoying on that subscription service on that platform. You feel? I, I, I just, it's so bad because you have these companies that are, now they're charging you a um, uh, subscription service to use their platform, then you're buying the game. You don't game. have to get it. You, this is not, this the, is not no, that's necessary. That's true. I guess maybe the games are cheaper or whatever. I don't, I don't it, know. But it, it's it, like, yeah. and then in the game, though, this is the worst problem. In the game, they're even charging you more. Like, they're selling you Certain. incomplete games after you're paying already for a service to I get the game in the first place. I believe he's just trying to throw some salt on EA right now. I no, I'm throwing like, salt on everyone, really. Like, a lot of companies are starting to ship unfinished games and selling you the rest of it later. And that's becoming a problem. If I'm already paying you a subscription, Subscri subscription Ooh. service showing that I am loyal to your service and your games. Mm -hmm. Why are you not giving me complete games? Why are uh, you no gifts? Well, most of them are complete. That's not, I feel like that's a weak argument. I most think, of them are here's the thing, this comes yeah, down to what's a, a complete argument. game. I, a complete game okay. is if you've developed everything, say everything you've worked on for the past however many years, and you only ship part of it, that is an incomplete game. Knowing that you're going to sell me the rest of it later, put it in the game, you've already made it. Now, so if you develop you're, something so you're later, arguing that DLC is nothing done. Like, DLC, you not have DLC developed later to make the game better throughout the years, that's fine, but you already have it done, ship it with it. That's just greed. All right, this went nowhere. It's time to check in with streamers and clip it. Our first clip comes from Jewel on Twitch. You remember her, the one with the shy boyfriend. This time, her boyfriend reacts to a fan paying for photos of Jewel's feet. <laughs> point there in his you know shrinking. Yeah. You can just Google it. Like you want you want feet, literally Google feet but right now. Her Go ahead. Feet, though. Really? Yeah, but you could <laughs> you could just pretend how do you know that she's not she No, no, that's that's literally, really literally, it. literally if somebody did that and they said they paid me money for my feet, I would just Google like cute feet and yeah. I would say I'm like, here you go. Honestly, I, feet. why not? Yo, as a boyfriend, I'd be like, Hell yeah, that's that's like free lunch for me now. Like okay, she can take me out to, to dinner. Is the, is there a line though? Because that's a slippery slope. You I guess, well, that would be up and to then the all of a sudden then it goes to like underwear. Like that what's would the, be up to the relationship. It? That would be up to them to decide Cast. the boundaries. Maybe hey maybe they don't have boundaries. And he's like yeah keep keep doing whatever you got to do. We got bank now. Like that's up to them though. But like feet like for real like. Go, go online and find your own feet. Why do you need her feet? It's just so gross. Like, why? First of all, you I don't like feet. So I hate feet. Freaking gross. Feet Teach are the road. Disgusting. Teach like, the if you Exactly. If you like feet, like, whatever, man, that's pretty. Like, I'm going to judge you because I feel like that's pretty messed up. Don't ask me for it's, photos it's of my feet. feet. I feel whenever I posted, like, literally me just like walking, if I was in the sand somewhere and I was walking and I like to show the beach and then go up to the water, yeah, people screenshotted that. F, I can't say it. They <laughs> screenshotted it, and then I could see it on Snapchat. The people that screenshotted my feet, like, don't, don't screenshot my feet, you sickies. Like, get a life. Oh my God. Literally Google it and don't add that garbage to your stream. Marissa, like, what's wrong Marissa, with you? I have a really good idea for a stream for you. What? Foot stream. A foot stream. Just foot. You're going to get so many subscribers. Ugh. Subscriber only Subscriber foot stream. Subscriber only foot stream. Subscriber only foot stream coming up from Marissa right I after just, my laundry stream. I just used Brody's feet. <laughs> No, the, oh. our next clip comes from Stay Safe TV, who wants to give McConnell Rhett credit for being a real bro. McConnell used to flip on his stream for 30 minutes for an hour before I would go live. He would farm up a couple hundred viewers, 700, 800 viewers. And the second I went live, the second I went live, he would host me. Leech? No, the second I went live, he would host me. He didn't even want to stream. He's not, he didn't even give a fuck about his stream. He was, he was just farming viewers to host into me. That's, that's some real, that's, that's anti-leech. That's some real bro sh That's some real bro sh And at this point I was super small. Like he didn't get anything from helping me at all. I was like a f nobody, right? Like you, you, ne you never, man, like you, you never forget the people that were there for you when, when you're not really in like a good spot, right? Yeah. Yo, I love McConnell that. Rat. Yeah. If you want like 
my lunch today, you can have it. You just host my stream. No, seriously. Like, <laughs> no, that is ballin'. That but is even, sick. Even like, um, um, just shout out to shout out to people in chat too. Like Tesla. Like, how sweet are you to come and raid our chat too with like people watching her stream? That is like mm. the sweetest thing ever. Honestly, like, uh, so there's something to be said about paying it forward. There's something to be said about you know just being kind without asking anything in return. Like, it does make you feel good for sure as a person. But it also is just. I know you don't believe in karma. I know Tesla isn't really either. Yeah. But, but I do believe that that's a real thing. Like when you're good to people around you, like the universe does provide you with some kind of love in some way, like the little things that happen in your life, I feel like I you are know. rewarded. I was kind to a lot of people in my life and I still ended up here on the show with you. And this is the greatest moment of your life yeah. right now. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. We've already, we've already used all this. Right. I can't leave you. <laughs> it truly <laughs> is the best time of day. We scroll the Twitters to bring you all the things the pros bless us with on their timeline. It's the best when they give the naysayers the old I told us so. And League of Legends Pro Perks is my new favorite person. He tweets, my mom gave birth to me when she was 40. Doctor told her there is a high chance her kid was going to be born with some sort of disability and that she should abort. But he forgot to mention one thing, that he was going to be an MSI champion. Ooh. How many trolls were, were in that saying, oh, she should have because she turned out to be a gamer. Uh, there was actually a couple people yeah, in that right. saying that. <laughs> like, I know uh, it. Somebody said, well, she should have because her son plays League of Legends. Uh, just like <laughs> yeah. uh, stuff like that. But isn't the best life lived? Like the, the life is best lived. The best revenge is a life lived, right? Life well lived. That's a, that's so a thing. Who are you that's getting revenge thing. against? It? The doctor. Oh. Who told her to abort? Uh, well, we don't know the kind. I mean, like, you know, maybe there were, because at that age, it is hard to have. She could have been. Uh, not okay afterwards, right? So okay, it's like yeah, there, past, there past were probably 30, reasons doctor said it that were not malicious. No, They're no, probably no, not past, like, yeah, just screw your baby. For sure. Past 35, it's considered a geriatric pregnancy. Yeah, um, it's tougher. Right, exactly. So it's harder for the woman to recover as well. Uh -huh. But like, that's still like, you you don't actually know. You don't you don't know. I just feel like there's a lot of people in chat too uh, underneath that saying this is probably an iffy topic. You probably shouldn't tweet something like this because of everything happening in the States right now with abortion mm. as well. He's like, this is this is me. This is just honest. Oh, and, yeah, like, there's nothing and, like, wrong with this is what it is. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. No, it's good. And congratulations on the MSI. That's right. <laughs> All right, now comes a tale from a man who is pale. Why'd you do this to me? <laughs> a man with great lore and is never a bore. <laughs> Jeez. Sir Action Slack tweets, true pub story today. I was randomly paired with a lad and he was so bad. Oh, that's why. Yeah. I said to myself, this is the second stupidest person I have ever played with because one man really stood out to me. Then I went and looked up the stupidest man and what you know is actually the same dude. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> that's like, that's that's like next level when you're like, if I like look up, uh, if I look up stupid, a picture of you next to it. Yeah, yeah. That was next level. Uh, that was like, <laughs> that kind of made me miss 140 characters though on no, Twitter. No, I like, like that. Like, we would have had that story. No, no, it's true. I do love Traction Snacks. Obviously, I'm just throwing yeah. a little bit of salt. Keep them coming, baby. Twitch streamer Xanos has some words for you people after a disgusting display at Combo Breaker. She says, clean the F up after yourselves, you're effing adults. Mm. Look, at, look at that. Yeah. Um, Bernie Moore, this is actually you? Like she's speaking to you. No, this, actually. This is the truth. Can you know what? I want to lay down a lie. You're yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's I go. will let's accept some shade if the shade is true. No, I'm you tell, won't. I'm going to tell you right now. This is lies. Hey, you remember the first time we met? No. You know, at the, that gnarly event? You know? Okay. And how afterwards all the Rocket League casters helped pack up a lot of the chairs? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're real messy people. What are you talking yeah. about? That You're chirping not... me saying that I'm leaving messes everywhere? Look, okay, I clean all, up, that bro. That was literally like three years ago. Also, it wasn't about the chairs. It was about all the dirt and garbage yes. underneath the chairs. Okay, so... And do I see garbage here? You haven't been here for like a freaking week, so yeah, obviously there's no garbage there. It's been cleaned up for you. This is all you do. You literally leave your cups <laughs> okay, everywhere. Okay, Jordan, Jordan, like, that was me. thank you, Jordan. I cleaned it up. Fully cleaned up for you because another broadcast that likes to use this area too. Like, dude, I you actually, have to clean up after yourself. You're I a freaking do. adult. I just don't bring my mess in here, so oh my I don't God. have to and clean up anymore. And then this gets me a whole other tangent of oh, people no. that are Why is people. It that not, not even Help, you, please. Please. Help! No, I'm turning in. I'm not going to put it on you. No, I'm not going to put it on to you. I just do not want people. Like, if you litter, seriously, you are a piece of. Oh, like, amen. Full on POS. Amen. Don't. Yesterday, this dude driving by literally just like cracked his window open, threw out his lid from his drink outside of his car, landed on the pavement. You should like, run what into I, him. Seriously, like, what do you do in a situation like that? Like, how how much of an a hole are you to just litter? The, hold on to your garbage and put it in the friggin' garbage can. That's why we have them. My God. Do what you want at your own house, but we share the outside. Seriously. Don't litter. I agree uh. with that. Let's move on, though, because it is time to get to some crowd controlled. This is where we showcase some of the great gaming stuff the community has been making and some stuff that we probably should have just left in the basement. 
<laughs> For my first post, I thought I'd bring along something that Marissa would enjoy. Aww. Seinfeld reenacts all of our reactions as we play Mario Kart. <laughs> you always see the blue shell coming through. <gasps> <laughs> 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 And you can hear the music at the end play, too. Just the, doom, doom. the second place, though, that's so real. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, that's yes. wonderful. From an excellent episode of Seinfeld, the Merv Griffin <laughs> show, where Kramer finds the set in the dumpster. I knew I would be in for some and trivia. Then, and then it brings it out. <laughs> like, it smells like garbage. <laughs> like, yeah. I love that so much. That's when the, that's when the hawk attacks the squirrel. Mm -hmm. In the, in the episode, if you guys know. Shout out to the Seinfeld fans in chat. Listen, audio is important for gamers, and clear communication means a lot when playing with teammates. Sennheiser knows this and tries to bring your teammates as close as possible. Daps, where are you, man? I'm slumping real hard right now. I need you to call the shots for me. I've got my Sennheisers, dude. It'll be like I'm in the room. Like you're in the room. Fucking go, buddy. That's good, man. That's good. Yeah. Okay, but like, is that is that cheating? Is that, is that cheating? Is, yeah, right? Like, you have four hands not, on the yeah. keyboard. <laughs> what? That probably would be cheating, to be honest. But I was, it was first cringe, though. It was first a cringy no, thing. When, that no, was because Tarek's like, what you, you know, he's not, the, he's not the best actor. It was just one of those things like, where is this going to go? <laughs> where is this going? And then it goes to the best place possible. This is not sponsored by Sennheiser in any way, but like, my goodness, I think good that's, job. I think that was the best thing is that it, it was like, yeah, it was this bad acting. We've seen commercials yeah. with pro players and before, and it's like, no, stop this, please. Yeah. But they took this to the next level. That was key. That was, you know, props to be on the summit. That was, that was key, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, it was nice. Anyways, for my last post, I had to set things uh, straighter. Yeah. Everyone is hating on me for maining Jigglypuff and Smash Brothers. Yeah, but Introspective's got my back. Continuing the list, we have Jigglypuff. And was there ever any doubt that the pink pop star would make this list? Absolutely not. Jigglypuff's hair? is hot as fuck. There's no denying that. Her big moon-like eyes draw you in, and her perfectly round figure seals the deal. Just think about it. This pink balloon floats up to you with this look and says, have me? What are you gonna do? Exactly. She may look innocent, but Jigglypuff is actually a huge So wait a minute, I'm confused. You're saying you main Jigglypuff because she's hot? Because she's sexy? That's what I was hoping you would get out of this. What? I'm kidding, I'm That's kidding. Yo, Fun fact though about the hair. Yeah. Um, if if this is not why a player, but it adds to it. <laughs> in melee, if you uh, grab onto the edge on the right side of a stage and you pause it, turn the camera right, her hair actually looks a little phallic, and then when you jump, it kind of just flops on top of her head. Okay. And it's really funny. And my 12-year-old is very very enthused. You, oh my god, you're so immature. I just I still don't get the I still don't get choosing Jiggly over Kirby though. Like this is because Kirby my... is trash, dear. No, he's not. All you do is press down, down B. B. Down B is not useful. It is for me. How do you win? Playing? Yes, I do. Oh yeah. I do want to okay, down B. Let's play. Okay, we and will. And just down B and see how Challenge it works for you. Challenge accepted, friend. Listen, that's it for me to remember. You can always hit us up on our socials just to say hi or send us some stuff to react to. Someone type in exclamation mark socials right now in chat, and we'll see you next time.